Welcome back to Military Recon, where we give you the intel you need for a successful transition from military to civilian life. Today we're diving deep into a critical topic, what every service member needs to know before leaving the military. From disability benefits to education, vocational rehabilitation, health insurance, life insurance, and more, we've got you fully covered. If you're planning to leave the service, this is the video you can't afford to miss. Leaving the military is one of the biggest transitions you'll ever make, and it can be both exciting and overwhelming. There are so many things to consider before you take that step. Understanding your benefits, planning for your future, and ensuring that you and your family are protected. In today's video, I'll break down everything you need to know to make sure your transition is as smooth as possible and that you're fully prepared for what's ahead. First off, let's talk about something that can make or break your post-service experience, disability benefits. The Department of Veterans Affairs offers compensation for service-connected disabilities, but here's the thing, it's not an automatic process. There's 18 million veterans out there, only 4 million receive compensation. 4 million. There's 14 million veterans in the United States that have either no idea about this or they are underrated severely or they just are like, I can get money for that? I, I've earned that? Yes, you have. So thank you for that, brother. And, and whether you work, like I said, whether you work with our staff or whether you do it on your own or whether you work through another entity, get it done. It's yours. You deserve it. It's, it's in your pocket and don't let it sit on the table because we see it happen every single day and it's demoralized. Your claim can take time to be approved, sometimes several months or even longer, depending on the complexity of your case. That's why it's essential to start the process as early as possible, ideally before you even leave the service. To get started, make sure you have all your medical records in order. This includes documentation of any injuries, illnesses, or conditions that developed or were aggravated during your service. Even if something seems minor now, it's worth documenting because you never know how it might impact you down the road. You can even get your disability evaluation done while you're still in service, which can significantly speed up the process once you're out. And don't forget, if you have any conditions that arise after your service, you can still file a claim. But the key is to document everything now while the details are fresh and while you have access to your military medical records. This could be the difference between getting the benefits you deserve and facing a lengthy appeals process. Now let's move on to education. The GI Bill is one of the most valuable benefits available to veterans, offering you the opportunity to further your education and set yourself up for a successful civilian career. But there's more to it than just covering tuition. The GI Bill also provides a housing allowance, money for books and supplies, and even benefits for vocational training if traditional college isn't your path. It's important to understand all the options the GI Bill offers and plan how you'll use them effectively. Are you thinking about attending a four-year university, a community college, or perhaps a technical school? Or maybe you're interested in an apprenticeship or on-the-job training program. Each of these paths has different requirements and offers different benefits under the GI Bill. So take the time to research and choose the one that best aligns with your career goals. Another point to consider is that some schools and programs offer additional benefits benefits for veterans, such as scholarships or veteran-specific support services. Reach out to the Veteran Services Office at the schools you're considering to learn about these resources. And don't forget, you have 15 years to use your GI Bill benefits after leaving the service, so you don't have to rush. Take the time to plan your education carefully to get the most out of this incredible benefit. Let's also talk about vocational rehabilitation, which is especially important if you're leaving the service with a disability. Vocational rehabilitation is to train you to go back to work. The Veterans Affairs Vocational Rehabilitation and Employment Program, or Chapter 31, is designed to help veterans with service-connected disabilities prepare for, find, and maintain suitable careers. This program offers a wide range of services, including career counseling, education and training, resume development, and job search assistance. But here's the thing, this program isn't just for those with severe disabilities. Even if your disability is relatively minor, you may still be eligible for services that can help you transition into a civilian career. The goal is to ensure that your disability doesn't hold you back from achieving your career aspirations. So if you think you might be eligible, 
Don't hesitate to apply. The sooner you start, the better equipped you'll be to navigate the civilian job market. Next up is health insurance, which is something you definitely don't want to overlook. While you're in the military, you're covered by TRICARE, but once you leave, your health coverage situation will change. Depending on your situation, you may still be eligible for TRICARE after leaving the service, but it's essential to understand your options. On how insurance works. So I'm gonna give you an example, and for this example, we're gonna say that your plan has a $10 copay, a $500 deductible, and 80-20 coinsurance. And unfortunately, you cut yourself, you need to get stitches and go to the hospital. When you get to the hospital, you give the person behind the desk your ID card, and you pay your $10 copay up front. If you're not eligible for TRICARE, you'll need to explore other options, such as enrolling in the Veterans Affairs Healthcare System or purchasing a private health insurance plan. The VA healthcare system offers a wide range of services, from routine checkups to specialized care for conditions like PTSD, traumatic brain injury, and more. However, eligibility for VA healthcare is based on factors like your service history and disability status, so make sure you understand what's available to you. And let's not forget mental health care. Transitioning out of the military can be a stressful experience, and many veterans face challenges such as adjusting to civilian life, finding employment, and dealing with the emotional impacts of their service. The VA offers a variety of mental health services, including counseling, therapy, and support groups to help veterans cope with these challenges. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need support. Mental health care is just as important as physical health care. Another crucial topic is life insurance. While you're in the military, you're covered by Service Members Group Life Insurance, SGLI, which provides affordable life insurance coverage. However, this coverage doesn't automatically continue once you leave the service. The good news is that you have the option to convert your SGLI to Veterans Group Life Insurance, VGLI, which offers similar coverage. Here's an important tip. If you apply for VGLI within 240 days of leaving the service, you won't need to undergo a health exam, which can be a huge advantage if you have any health conditions that might affect your insurability. VGLI allows you to maintain life insurance coverage at group rates, and you can increase your coverage over time if your needs change. Alternatively, you can explore private life insurance options, but make sure you do this well in advance of your transition to ensure continuous coverage. Finally, let's talk about Veterans Affairs Medical Services. The VA provides a comprehensive range of healthcare services for veterans, and once you leave the military, you may be eligible for these services. This includes everything from routine medical care to specialized services like physical therapy, mental health care, and treatment for service-related injuries or illnesses. In Enrolling in the VA healthcare system is a crucial step to ensure you have access to the care you need. And here's something many veterans don't realize. VA healthcare isn't just for those with service-connected disabilities. Many veterans, even those without disabilities, are eligible for VA healthcare based on their service history. So make sure you understand your eligibility and get enrolled as soon as possible. The VA also offers additional programs that can be incredibly beneficial, such as the VA Caregivers Support Program, which provides resources and support for those who care for veterans with significant health needs. There's also the VA's Home Loan Program, which can help you secure a mortgage with favorable terms, and the VA's pension program, which provides financial assistance to veterans with limited income. So to wrap it up, start your disability claims early, make the most of your GI Bill, explore vocational rehabilitation if you need it, secure your health insurance, carefully consider your life insurance options, and take full advantage of Veterans Affairs Medical Services. This is your life after service. Make sure you're stepping out on solid ground with a clear plan in place. Thanks for tuning in to Military Recon. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tips on making the most of your military transition. Drop a comment if you have any questions or if there's a topic you want us to cover next. Until next time, stay strong and stay informed.